okay so today we decided to just show you what it's like to take out a three month old corn roll from looking at this hair you can tell that all the sections have disappeared because the hair is all grown up and connected itself and then what happens is it definitely tangles at the tape so three months old corn roll practically your hair starts to mat itself and then it grows completely all what has grown needs to be taken out so i've taken out these strands and i'm just carrying on so i thought you should see this why because it will guide you when you're taking out your hair or taking out your client's hair why are we interested in this it's just a way of making sure you don't damage your client's hair so i'll talk you through what i'm doing as you carry on, make sure the comb is just picking the sections, the little, little stitches, which makes up the braiding. See that? So you make sure your comb is going in. This hair has become really dry and is very prone to breakage right now. So you have to be very, very careful while taking it out. You will mat. <coughs> so take comb goes into each of the sections each of the stitches okay so as you go you can see that all this hair this is what's happened over time you probably be wondering wow what what was she doing with this hair this hair was underneath her wig so again remember we, we love talking about wig here um, you wear your wig cap over your cornrow is a major thing you have to do so it protects your hair. Now imagine if she didn't have any wig cap. That would have been worse because there's a lot of rubbing against each other, friction. Yeah. So you see that this is all what happens. That's how much hair has grown. And this part shows you this part shows you the uh, products and things over time so what they do they cling to the hair see that so when you get here you take your time to detangle it detangle each strands and that's what you're seeing all over her cape you just the product accumulation of products take your time take it out and you see how the hair becomes free once that's taken out see that but before I got there, I'll show you another set. So again, I'm going into the corner and I'm taking it out. If you find it's getting real. Okay, so as you get into the corner, your finger can actually help you. See that? So I'm not using the comb anymore. And my finger goes in and takes them in little stitches. See that? So that's a stitch. I take out and take out. Take out, take out. So what you can now see is the length of the new growth so where the product starts to build up is where the hair has grown and that's naturally the three months she's kept it so now you take your hands again your fingers and kind of release the product build up release it and once you've done that the hair becomes free so you see the difference between the free and the product build up so what causes the tangling is the product buildup. And you're probably wondering where did the product come from? No, normally in cornrow, you can occasionally spray your scalp, I mean spray the hair with um, simple hair sprays. Why do you need that? To moisturize the scalp. Otherwise it gets really, really dry. I mean the tips are dry, but the scalp is a bit moisturized I can feel the moisture in there so the hair must have been moisturized sprayed and all that and that creates the product buildup and once you're taking it out you make sure you detangle them see the difference and when it's detangled the hair is free so now when this hair is shampooed because when we finish this we're going to comb it through nicely to completely take away everything before she can shampoo it because if you just take it out this is a mistake people make you take that out and you just 
sometimes people will try and comb a little bit and then they shampoo when you do that it gets so matted so so matted and that's when you hear braids damaged my hair yeah because you didn't know what to do yeah so this is why we're showing you this for you to learn from the mistakes that could happen make sure you detangle all the you know remove the product build up come through the hair nicely see that all the tangling release them so the hair now becomes one one strand again and so when we comb this hair it's easier to comb through and it's after the combing that you can now shampoo and condition okay so you can see all that's happening here these are all the product buildup that's coming out of the hair as a combi now combing you watch out for the tangled bits yeah slowly slowly take it what i would normally do is i start from the tips which i've taught over and over in various videos whichever hair you're dealing with always start from the tips always come from the tips and then you slowly get in so what i would do is I'll, I'll definitely go in and then slowly push it push it push it all you're pushing is the tangled hair and then as you go you push and you push and you push you don't go in and then yank which is what lots of people do they just yank the hair and pull out as much hair as possible and cause a lot of damage see that so not too much hair comes out and that's how it should be done now just for your information this hair was colored and then um, the the colored part is actually grown out can you see how it's growing out now it's all getting darker and darker so it's not because it was three months that's why the hair looks all colored at the tips no it was actually colored so i tend to just braid it away once i've done i've cleaned that up so that it doesn't all get dry again or get involved with the ones that i haven't worked on you see when i come there it gets into the next strands but it's not a problem because when we finish we'll release all of them and we'll come through everything together again so that's how you do it see that slowly slowly and then you take it out from the tips slowly 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 and from the tips And depending on how dry it is, a lot may come out or it may not be as much. Um, this is where people complain that they've lost a lot of hair with braids. But this is what I know about braids. Um, remember, you could lose about 100 strands of hair a day. 100 strands. If you were not doing anything with that hair and you were just combing through your hair, you lose about 100 strands a day. Again, that's because of the hair life cycle which is in our video all about hair so when you lose that much if you then braid the hair for the number of days that you're not combing that's the number of hairs that are actually coming out but are not coming out because you haven't combed it so now three months of not taking our hair times 100 strands of hair this is what's going on here so this is why people think that they lose hair when they braid hair. No, it's actually accumulation of hair that should have come out that are now coming out. And that's the science behind it. So you can see now, it's all clean. So that's what we're going to carry on. And I'll show you the finished look. Okay, so we are at the end now. We finish taking out the hair what I'm going to do now is just detangle this part sorry see that we're going to take out all the built up products remember how I said you should do it just take your finger and detangle them detangle and they'll be all over your clothes so always make sure you cover yourself and I think I didn't explain why she had to keep her hair for so long. She's away in uni all by herself. So 
and she's busy studying so she doesn't have them to care for the hair again that's where the beauty of wigs come in because um, at least it covers you while you're busy and so wig cap on wig on and ready to go and that's what she's been doing so we're having to deal with this when she comes so detangle detangle you know we've we've talked about wigs in our channel wigs really do help to keep you going when all else fails <laughs> which is you know haven't you haven't got a good hairdresser where you are um you could be going on holiday and you don't have time to worry about your hair lots of people they're going swimming they don't have time to be blow drying hair all the time and so they just get the take their wigs with them do whatever they like on the holiday and then uh, when they come back we attend to the hair so these are just different ways of of dealing with hair, hair to how to care for your hair you don't have to give yourself stress over hair So again, slowly, slowly comb it through. Remember what we talked about the the hair that sheds. It's not cornrow; doesn't damage hair unless you pull the tips. You know, some people really drag the tips. That's not what you should be doing. But cornrow itself doesn't damage hair. So if hair is coming out at the end of your braids, it's not because it's been damaged by cornrow just the natural hair cycle so they naturally drop out okay so you see how taking my time to comb it through take your time comb the hair through if this was your hair please do the same take your time comb it through if this is your client's hair take time comb it through don't go causing any damage so yeah, slowly slowly Slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, so before we finish, remember our DVD pack. It's got everything you need to get your hair business started. 30 DVDs. Understanding hair. Remember we talked about how hair and shedding and all that. That is there. Um, the business of hair is there. Understand hair extensions is there. And then, of course, 21 different hair skills it's just hair business in a pack and that's it so order your dvd we're gonna put a link in in the um description box below and this is it we finished the hair so we're gonna take it all out and then comb it through again properly before we condition it and be ready to do what we want to do with it next a hairstyle you know braids weave get it ready again for another wig is not a problem so this is what happens you can see that the hair is continuously growing is not damaged and that's why we recommend you take good care of your natural hair it's just one of the things we stand here for so thank you so much for watching we really appreciate you um subscribe please if you haven't because we have so much we share with you here um like it share it with your friends and we we'll see you again in the next video bye for now